new episode of Better Call Saul. It's a good morning. Okay, we're gonna try to start this again today. Let's see if we're any more successful than we were yesterday. I mean, we were successful yesterday. It just seemed kind of dangerous. And this is probably still dangerous, but... Oh, 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 oh. Stop, stop. What? I didn't feel like you were watching me. Turn on one, let it light, and then turn this on, it'll hit, then that'll hit, then that'll hit. Oh. Oh, the more you know. <laughs> I wonder what I heard you say. Still dangerous. It's like, it's like every time I do it, it's just like a boom. <laughs> Well, that makes a lot more sense. adding push-ups to my exercise routine. I'm starting out at 15 a day and seeing if I can gradually increase it. But so far 15 is manageable. Is there anything better than cold <coughs> watermelon? No. <laughs> I actually have a very sizable CD collection. Some of them are just absolute gems that I will never part with. And some of them, well, these aren't really mutually exclusive, but some of them are worth a lot of money too. This guy right here, the Star Fox original soundtrack. This was uh, $60 when I bought it, and that was years after it came out. It's worth over 100 now, for sure. Speaking of which, is the CD in here? I feel like the CD is inside. Okay, good, it's inside. But anyways, I thought I'd put all my CDs up here because I've never really had a good place to store them. Oh, here's another funny one. Complete box set for Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, Chain of Memories, and a bonus disc. Do you know how many Kingdom Hearts games have come out since this? This is by no means complete anymore. What's also pretty interesting is that I have listened to all of these to death. Should I put these in order? I think I will do that, actually. So instead of doing it alphabetically, I decided to do it by artist kind of this huge stack. This is all by a composer named Joe Hisaishi. He's the guy who did all the Studio Ghibli movies. He's like my favorite composer ever, so I have a lot of his CDs. So I thought I'd start with this. Also, let's put it on the top row because I doubt I'm gonna be adding too much to this collection or taking it out that often, so let's leave it up here. Where's that Swiffer? <laughs> Okay, so next row, let's try to decide how we're gonna separate these. First, because I know that I'm not gonna buy these very often, let's start with movie soundtracks. We've got Star Wars, Serenity, Firefly, Full Metal Alchemist, Phantom Menace, Pirates of the Caribbean, Yoshitsune. This is a Japanese drama that was on while I was in Japan. It has one theme, but the main theme is awesome. Blood Diamond, Austin Powers. <laughs> Uh, Michael Franci, Flo, Magnetic North. These guys, uh, one of them was my roommate, Derek. There's a great song on this called Believe, and then The Reign of Kindo, my favorite band. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 4 soundtrack signed by Norihiko Hibino, which is the composer. He did Snake Eater, my favorite song of all time. Ow! Now, 
this monstrosity right here, this used to be the Crystal Chronicles soundtrack. It came with this uh, slip jacket. This used to be liquid, but it turned into some hard group. Okay, and last category, Nintendo CDs. Smash Brothers soundtrack, Ocarina of Time, Hyrule Symphony, Mario and Zelda Big Band Live, that's great. The Mario Galaxy soundtrack, Star Fox. Another game that I attribute my love of music to. Oh, fantastic. And then more recently, Breath of the Wild. I was a little disappointed by Breath of the Wild's music, actually. Blue Man Group, Chick Corea, Marimba Spiritual, the 2003 Midwest Clinic. This is when I was a music major for one semester. Ney Rosaro and the University of Miami Percussion Ensemble. This is the best percussion ensemble piece I've ever heard. It's it's so musical. Like usually they're too like uh, modern music and they're really like a melodic and I don't really like them, but I love that one. That's about it. So I know that I just set this room up, but it's occurred to me that I forgot about my musical instruments. And what I would like to have is my keyboard at least in here so that I can write music while I'm working on the computer. So my option is I could take all of the video game stuff into my room and then bring in the keyboard in here. I'm not really gonna know if I'm gonna like it or not until I actually do it, so might as well just do it. Uh, so, check this out. This is a USB 3.0 external enclosure. Yesterday, the one that I bought was only a USB 2.0 enclosure. Now, I, that was actually on purpose because at first I thought I was only gonna be able to use my PlayStation 3 to do it. Then I found out it needs to be formatted in FAT32 and your files can only be four gigabytes. So that was useless to me. So I got this one and hopefully it's good. Got another unboxing here. This one is a very practical thing. This, you guys might have seen before, it's my camera clip. I bought this with my buddy Andreas when I was in New York. Now this I've been wanting for a long time, I just never got it. Cause I was like, oh, this pouch does almost good enough. So when we're filming Adventure Archives, we have to change lenses a lot. So the lens sits like this. When I want to change it, go like this. Flip it over. Well, I didn't tighten that enough, but then you can, like that. Now, I won't have to unzip this thing, because usually I'm trying to unzip this with one hand and then pull the lens out. It'll just be securely strapped right there. Good to go. That is, should have gotten that a long time ago. That would have really been helpful. In fact, I probably should have gotten one for Andrew too. Oh well. All my work for the day is done. I still am behind one vlog, but who cares about that? So I'm about to eat dinner, and I was thinking to myself, man, I need some bread. Like just some solid bread that you have to fight with and it's just like you put it in your mouth and you rip a piece off. Sometimes I get that urge to just devour some bread. So anyways, I'm gonna go get some bread. I got some lovely looking bread here. Check this out. Oh baby. Like that's a nice hunk of bread right there. You know, when I was a kid, there was this place called Rosalind's Bakery and they got shut down. Oh man, they're good for like health code violations. And for some reason, I feel like something happened with Scholars Inn, but maybe I'm just making that up. But also just now I got the sense that any moment now, somebody's gonna comment on my vlog and be like, Oh, don't you know Scholar's Inn has like poop in their bread or something? Probably just crazy. I definitely should cook up some bacon. 
and then toast these breads in the bacon sauce. You know, a lot of it's probably my personal taste and also nostalgia, but I'm re-watching Macross Plus and it is so great, dude. That is gonna do it for today's vlog. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Be disturbing. Hear that frog? The Final Fantasy 12 limited edition. The Final Fantasy 12 limited edition. Wow, that's hard to say. What the? All right, most of my work for the day is done. Did I say that right? Most of my work for the day is done. Uh, no, it is done. Then I'm gonna have dinner. It's gonna be a grand old time. Bacon sauce, bacon grease, bacon grease.